everybody welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would film my january favorites going back over the years i have filmed many of these videos i started my youtube channel or i started a youtube channel back in 2014 and it's now 2023 so i've nearly been filming and posting videos for 10 years which is crazy it's still like a hobby of mine although i don't post that much at the end of this video i'm going to update you on my new year's like goals how i've been doing so far i think it'll be quite nice that every single month i show you like my favorite things from the month and then at the end of the video i include sort of how i've been doing with my goals for the year and like my, my new year's resolutions it's only january and some of these things have not been going so well and others have been going really well but that's life i guess so in this video i've got skincare makeup homework clothing food, YouTube favourites, that kind of thing. So please grab a cup of tea, a hot chocolate, a coffee, anything. Sit down and watch the video. So first of all, for skincare, I only have one product. This here is a face mask that I got for Christmas. I was just thinking, did I get it for my birthday or for Christmas? But I got it for Christmas. Also, if you can hear anything, my washing machine has just finished its cycle. So this is the Rose Clay face mask and I don't know what the brand is, like it doesn't say, is that, that, that can't be the brand, can it? I don't know, anyway, I'm sure if you type Rose Clay face mask in anyway it will come up on Amazon because I did actually pick this up from Amazon and I really wanted to include this product in this video because it made a noticeable difference in comparison to other face masks that I've tried. First of all, it's a very smooth texture, like it literally glides straight onto the skin. It reminds me of a face mask that I have reviewed a couple of times and it's by the brand Alia Skin Care and it's a lot more expensive than this face mask, but it is very, very similar. That is also a rose face mask and yeah, they're basically identical products. It makes my skin feel really soft after using it and some face masks, your skin might feel like fresh and like cleansed after using a face mask but quite a lot of face masks don't necessarily leave your skin feeling super soft and this does so i wanted to include this because i have noticed a great difference with my skin after using this product makeup i have been kind of getting a little bit more back into makeup i'm the kind of person that will be like you know, I, I will wear makeup pretty much every single day. Like I literally wear makeup every day. I don't necessarily venture out and try new products or new things. So I thought, you know what, Georgie, you have been sticking to the same two foundations. Like I alternate between two foundations that I know and love for about four or five years maybe and i thought you know what let's go and let's try a different foundation and i was you know i went out with every intention to get a foundation i've never tried before but then i saw this now this is a product that i have tried before i used this back when my skin was not so great i had acne when i last used this product back when i was like 15 16 i'm not sure and any kind of makeup on top of acne doesn't you know you can't really get to you know it's obviously going to look different on somebody with acne than it does somebody without acne so i've always thought of this product as kind of like reminding me of when i had acne so i never really reached for it but i thought you know what i'm gonna give this a try and i'm gonna see kind of how it is now when my skin is you know, if I stuck to a really great skincare routine and I drank loads of water and I, you know, looked after my skin really well, it would it would be perfect, basically. So I just need to knuckle down and just be more strict with myself. But this is amazing. I love this foundation. It is my new favourite foundation. So coverage-wise, it is pretty much full coverage like I would say it's medium to full coverage I think they market it as full coverage like I don't know if you can see that but it just blends in really nicely and it matches my skin co my skin cone slow down Georgie my skin tone it matches my skin tone quite nicely and I just like that it isn't too much like it isn't too full coverage too heavy it blends really nicely it blends in easily one of my foundations that I you know do actually really love sometimes what I do is is I put little dots around my face of the product and then I blend it in afterwards and sometimes with my old foundation I will do the dots on my face and then when I go to blend it in it's already kind of set and it doesn't 
kind of blend whereas this will just blend really nicely and I really like this and also a bonus that I wasn't expecting is that my skin has been less oily throughout the day than normal I do have oily skin I don't really mind having oily skin it's not a problem to me in fact I like oily skin but I don't like it to be too oily and I find that this controls the oils really really well and I was just super happy to have this product back again and it has SPF 20 in it which I love the fact that it has SPF in it and the fact that it doesn't make my skin oily because usually foundations with SPF in make my skin you know a bit greasy throughout the day but this doesn't so it means that I also especially in winter months don't have to use an SPF before my foundation because usually I would do so all round I'm super happy with this product the shade that I have it in is the shade 103 true ivory another kind of product that might contribute also to the fact that my skin doesn't get as greasy throughout the day is this primer from elf and i have actually been using this for a lot longer than the foundation so i do know that this foundation is also great for kind of controlling oil but this is the elf matte putty primer i think i have mentioned it in a video kind of fairly recently but basically it's like a creamy kind of texture and consistency but when you kind of like buff it into the skin and like rub it into the skin it blends in really nicely and it kind of like mattifies your skin and it just gives like a really nice soft blank canvas for then doing makeup obviously this isn't the kind of product you will go for if you have dry skin you know obviously this is marketed towards people with oily skin because obviously we want to kind of mattify our skin a little bit and it does work it's a great product i would 100 percent repurchase this product there's not many kind of primers out there that i actually say do mattify the skin but this one certainly does i also picked up a concealer that i haven't had for a while and this is the rimmel lasting radiance concealer and it's also an eye illuminator apparently now this is in the shade number 10 ivory it is a pretty similar kind of match to this that is not good georgie calm down we didn't break it thankfully but that could have been messy but yeah it's a good match to that one however this product is not for everybody now this is for the kind of person that doesn't need the coverage i like it because it blends in really really quickly it blends in really nicely like it literally almost disappears into the skin like when you blend it in and some people won't like that because i think when you're using a concealer often you want it to conceal you know you want it to cover you want it to cover the blemishes or maybe under your eyes or something like that for me i have such great coverage with this foundation and also i don't necessarily want to just like cake my my face with like tons of foundation and concealer so for me a lighter concealer is actually quite nice and i quite like this for that i, I just find it quite refreshing to have a product that isn't so heavy um and it's just a nice change so i thought i'd feature this because i do actually really like this there is a foundation in this particular range as well that is also kind of like a radiance product that i don't like like i don't like that and that is because of my oily skin so if you have dry skin that might be a great product but it is also um not very you know it's not got a high coverage to it either so for me that product is just like a a no-go zone but the concealer i like i have this which is a lip liner and this is from wet and wild and it's in the shade brandy wine now this is quite a large product like considering this was only two pounds or something like that like you get a lot of product it is a pencil and usually i'm not the kind of person to get like lip pencils because i just can't be bothered to sharpen them and also i found in the past that when you sharpen lip liners they just like the pencil just breaks like every time and it's just so annoying and just such a waste of product but i'm gonna buy myself a sharpener and i'm gonna sharpen this and i'm gonna use it and i'm gonna try my best because it is a great product it's a great shade it's pigmented it glides onto your lips really easily and for me this is the kind of lip liner where i only need this lip liner in my collection like i don't need different shades because i stick to the same kind of shade range of lipsticks and lip glosses like 
they're always like browny kind of like nudie shades like to my skin tone so for me this is perfect if you're gonna get lipsticks or anything i would recommend to get a lip liner that's slightly darker than the lip product that you're using and it just adds a bit of definition it just makes your lips look a little bit more plumper or just a slight bit bigger and often people what they do is i pop a bit round my whole lips but some people um will pop a bit underneath their lip here and just on the top and it makes your lips look more kind of pouty um so it's totally up to you like there's loads of videos on youtube on like how to make your lips look a certain way but i just really like this particular one and this particular shade and although it says it's in the shade brandy i would say it's kind of like um like a dark brownie kind of shade it almost looks purpley but it, it doesn't on the lips it just looks like it on camera. Final makeup product. Yes, I know I have quite a few already in this video. Um, but this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and it's got hyaluronic acid in it. Now this product is what I've got on my lips today if you was wondering. So that is what it's looking like. I like this product for many reasons. So first of all, I like it because the colour the shade of this. This is the kind of shade that I like. I like brownie shades. I think they just go with literally every single kind of eyeshadow look that you can do. And it's just kind of like a neutral thing. When it comes to glosses, I either go for this kind of color or no color whatsoever. So just a clear gloss. This is the only lip gloss that I now own in my collection because I rarely wear lip gloss, but if I ever do, this is the kind of shade that I'll go for. I like how pigmented this is. I like how it sits nicely on the skin. It's not too like tacky or sticky. And although it says it's like got hyaluronic acid in it and it's like a plumping gloss, you don't feel the kind of tingliness of, you know, what some plumping glosses do. Cause sometimes you'll try a, like a, a lip plumping lip gloss and your lips feel so tingly. But with this, you don't have that. Even though I don't necessarily mind that, but yeah, it's just it's just a fact. Um, but yeah, I really like this and I wanted to mention it because what I also like is the packaging. I think it looks really nice. This is the kind of aesthetic that I personally really like um, in terms of product packaging. My feet are numb, bear with me. I'm just blending out the bit of lip gloss on my hand because no doubt I will just like wipe it on the white walls or something by accident. So now on to homeware. These are the Febreze like I'm not entirely sure of the full name but they're air fresheners from Febreze where you have three little kind of scents in them they do come as a three so what you can do is you can buy the actual air freshener with like the scents so with the refill pack and then afterwards you can just buy like the liquid by itself the refill pack by itself you can get different scents you can get ones tailored to spring to summer to winter to autumn and for me no other air freshener beats this particular one now this is my old one i've had this for like three years i recently bought a new one of these to go upstairs because this one stays downstairs and that one is like the design of it is slightly different it's more square this one's more rounded and it's really really great and so strong you have a setting on the side where you can have it on the minimum or the maximum i think this one is kind of breaking a little bit now because i have had it for like four years and it's not as strong like the scent isn't as strong as the one upstairs i have the one upstairs on for half an hour and it's literally filled the whole of the upstairs with a great smell whereas this one i can keep it on all day and it doesn't reach that same intensity but obviously you know sometimes you do have to replace things what i find with these is that the scents are so nice but also the, the intensity of the smell is just so nice and strong like not too strong not overpowering but it's just one of those things where it diffuses the fragrance really nicely around your house but it doesn't use up product really quickly some air fresheners that i've had in the past that weren't branded so they were like wilco's own brand or something they would get used up within a few weeks these last three four months you know if you've got them on all the time and they're just great it's worth getting something like this you know i was always the kind of person that's like always get the non-branded things but sometimes i've just found branded things do do things a little bit better and i love this and i wanted to include it because if you have your own house or you're renting or anything like that 
having an air freshener in a couple of rooms of your house makes a massive difference to just the feel of the house you know it's nice to walk into a room and it smell really nice and I like it next up I have got this so I got these for Christmas from my parents these are the true wireless earbuds and I got these because when I'm at work I'm often doing a job that's quite repetitive that takes a long time and I got them to listen to music recently I have actually been watching some YouTube videos I am working don't worry but you can like sit your phone up somewhere whilst you're cracking on and I almost listen to the YouTube like it's a podcast and yeah they work really really well the battery life is great i do need to charge them now though but i just found it to be really nice to be able to you know listen to something whilst working because sometimes you know you can just get a bit bored you know in your own thoughts so i really like this then i've got my 2023 calendar sorry not calendar agenda it's my diary in here i write down kind of what i want to achieve in the week things i want to get done and i also write down some goals every single month of like what things i want to achieve each month and i kind of reflect back on those and at the end of each day i also write down what i actually did get done that day or what i did do that day so there's a lot of information that i write in here and i really like it it helps me to stay organized this is amazing so this is the dr beckman pet stain and odor remover now this says it eliminates urine vomit and feces and that sounds disgusting but trust me if you've got pets or i don't know kids or whatever this will be great this product i've repurchased like four or five times i love this nothing compares to this sometimes my rabbits will have a, like a little accident on my carpet like you know as pets do you can't get pets if you don't expect them to be messy sometimes and this just gets that straight up like i literally like you squirt some of the product on the carpet and then you scrub it with the bristles and it just goes straight up you just wipe it off after with a little bit of a cloth um, and it's great and it smells really nice as well and fresh and clean so I wanted to include this for if you've got any pets and you need something that will remove stains or will remove smells and odors this is great also just a quick mention to this spray this is the astonish pink roses ready to use disinfectant now this smells so nice i use this to disinfect and to clean the surfaces in my kitchen which i do every time i wash up afterwards i've washed up i wipe the surfaces down and i just wanted to feature this because it's a really decent price i got it from morrison's and it smells really nice and it cleans really good so yeah and it looks nice like i really like the look of the bottle um i think it's just a color I'm, I'm going through a phase of really liking pink things at the minute final homeware favorite is this blanket now this is the softest thickest comfiest blanket ever i got this from b&m before christmas so they probably don't sell it anymore because it is kind of christmasy colored i don't know um but they probably have something similar but in a different color and it's just so cozy i do need to give it a wash because it's got bunny hair all over it but it's so soft like the outside feels really really soft and then the inside of the blanket is so cozy like honestly best blanket ever clothing wise we're approaching the end um is this jacket here now i got this discounted from tesco's it's like a gilet so there's no like arms to it it is just like a jacket and i've been really into gilets recently i often wear this to work but i just quite like it like it's got like a leathery material like on bits of it and then like a fluffy material on the rest of it it has a hood and it's just a really nice cozy coat it's kind of perfect for autumn and um, spring kind of time if you're the kind of person that you know gets a bit chilly like me food oh my god we're nearly at the end um my camera battery is flashing at me right now um it's my coffee machine i love my coffee machine that is 100 percent a favorite but this is one of the recent coffee beans that i've purchased this is the starbucks espresso rich and caramelly notes um kind of dark roasted coffee really really great um smells really nice tastes really good and it just the coffee machine gives a really nice kind of rich flavor and it's just something that you don't really get from instant coffee so yeah youtuber favorites um or oh, what have we got i will insert my youtuber favor over the top when i come back to edit this video because i can't think oh who who's a favorite come on georgie think 
Um, oh, I don't know what I'm going to go for. Oh, it's this girl. I can't remember her name. She's called Becca. She makes really great kind of like motivating videos. I will leave her channel on screen. Um, I can't remember her channel name, but she's great. In terms of how my goals are doing, so how am I doing with my goals this year? Fitness wise, I'm doing fairly good. Fitness and eating wise, um, I'm happy. Things that I've failed with this month is YouTube. I wanted to post two videos a week and I didn't. I've only been posting, you know, basically not very often. So I'm gonna aim to post one video a week. So there we go. Um, so that's just a little update on my goals. It's just, I'm doing good with eating and exercising and things and tidying up and keeping things clean. Not so good with YouTube and also not so good with my skincare routine, which is not so great. But anyway, we will, I will keep you updated in my February favorites as to how my goals are doing and how I'm changing throughout the year. But that is everything for this month. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.